If you use video for your creative brand, you might have run into the need to use multiple audio sources like a microphone with background music or audio playback from your computer. Most streaming and recording programs only allow you to use one audio source, which is where aggregate audio devices come in. Aggregate devices allow you to combine audio from multiple sources into a virtual audio device that you can select for recording and streaming video. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set that up in Mac OS. Let's get into it. Hello creators, I'm Ben Tolson from Podia, where we empower creators like you to make a living doing what you love. Tell me if this sounds like you. You make videos teaching about farm animal care, and now you want to be able to incorporate a soundboard with farm animal noises. Or maybe you make ASMR videos and you want to include a second microphone set up closer to the floor for your dog. Or maybe you make commentary videos about Wes Anderson films and you need to be able to record your voice over clips of his movies. If you're nodding your head yes, you may need an aggregate audio device. Whether you're a Mac or Windows user, by the end of this tutorial, you should be able to set one up for yourself. First, I'm gonna cover how to use the built-in Mac OS software to create an aggregate device. Then I'll show you how to do the same thing in an app called Loopback, which works with Mac and Windows. First, let's go through how to set this up using Mac's built-in software. From the launch pad, do a search for audio MIDI setup, and then click the application. This will show you a list of any audio devices connected to your computer. In the lower right hand of this window, click the plus button and click create aggregate device. Now in the window to the right, check the box next to the audio devices you want to include in your aggregate device. Now you can rename your device by clicking on the title in the left panel. Once you finish this, you should now be able to see your aggregate device listed with the other audio source options in your streaming or recording program. While this works well for connected audio devices, it's pretty limited in terms of what you can use as an audio source. You can get a lot more options, including audio from specific apps, choice of specific channels in a given device, and monitoring options with Loopback from Rogue Amoeba. You can get this app from their website at rogueamoeba.com loopback and try it for free, or you can purchase a license for Loopback for only $99. Go ahead and download it so you can follow along with me as I walk you through how it works. When Loopback first opens, your window should look like this. Go ahead and click on New Virtual Device in the bottom left of the window. You'll automatically be prompted to name your new audio device. Go ahead and type that in and click Enter. Just below the title, click the plus sign to the right of Sources. From here, you can browse and select a specific application, choose from running applications, choose a special source, or choose an existing audio device. You can repeat this for as many sources you'd like to add to your device. You'll notice when a source is added, there's an on-off toggle, channel lines that run to the output channel, and options for each source. If you need to delete a source, you can just select it by clicking on it, and then click the delete button at the bottom of the window. If you wanna be able to listen to your audio through headphones or a specific audio output device, you can add that by clicking the plus button next to monitors and selecting your device. Be careful not to feed a live microphone audio source into a monitoring device with speakers that are too close to the mic, or you could create a feedback loop. In the devices list on the left, you can toggle your device on or off and adjust the output volume. Once you've created your aggregate device, check in your streaming or recording app to see if it's listed with the other sources. You may need to relaunch your streaming or recording app to get an updated list. And now you're all set. If you're looking for a free app that can do the same thing for Windows, check out asioforall.org and let me know in the comments if you'd like me to make a video walkthrough for that app. Also, if you have any questions about setting up an aggregate device or using loopback, let me know and I'll be happy to answer to the best of my ability. If you found this video helpful and you want more content like this, click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you'll be sure not to miss any future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.